We went on a road trip in a camper van and explored the north part of Morocco. It was the first time that we've been in this country and even on the African continent. In this episode we explored Morocco's oldest city fairs. After something forced me to stay in the hotel for a day, we explored the city with the world's biggest medina. We tried delicious food, got lost in the small alleys and saw the famous Chihuahua tannery. And then we drove to Magnus before we headed to the next city on the north Moroccan route we planned to discover. Wow, this is where we will sleep tonight, in this Moroccan riot. So far we have only stayed at campsites in Morocco, but this time we wanted to stay differently. We wanted to be close to the Medina and we were also very excited to take advantage of the chance to spend a night in a typical riot. Isn't it beautiful? Today it was an eventful day. Um, I was fine because of speeding. I drove nine kilometers per hour too fast. And also um, when we came here to Fez, um, there was a scammer. So we tried to park in a parking space, but um, yeah, he came and told us that there's another parking space. We got there and uh, it was really not so good, but we decided to um, go where we originally wanted to go. That was perfect, next to a police station where we can uh, park our van. And uh, two minutes away is this beautiful American riot. And yeah, that's really incredible. And I think now we will end the day with an evening stroll through Fizz. We went to the hotel and then during the night I suddenly feel very bad and I spend a lot of time in the bathroom. I suspect I got food poisoning. So I spent the entire next day in the hotel with tea, bananas and rice crackers. The following day we had a very tasty Moroccan breakfast and Claudia and Norvin showed me the places they visited the day before. It's very good. It's interestingly seasoned. Very oriental. This is one of the many Iman schools here in Morocco, FS, but it's the only one where you are allowed to entry, but only in this inner yard, so non Muslims are not allowed to entry the building itself. So that's the first time that, that I went out after something hit me very badly. But now we are in a cafe and uh, yeah, now we browse around the town. We also visited the Chihuahua Tannery where you can see the transformation of height into leather. At the entrance you get mint leaves which are supposed to help against the sometimes strong smell which comes from the use of urine and animal feces. We just checked out from our hotel and now it's time to continue our journey. Now we are on our way to Magnus and uh, yeah, I try to drive through Fez and um, yeah, Fez is really an uh, incredible city. The Medina is 
really large. I've, I've read it's the largest uh, pedestrian area in the world. And there were, uh, I think, nearly 600,000 people only in the Medina office. It's really impressive. Work and live. So. Uh, work and live, okay. And um, yeah, now we, we make us on our way to the, yeah, to the coast. Uh, we will stop at Magnus and yeah, then go, I think, uh, to Rabat. So we are just arrived at the city of Magnus and now we will enter the Medina. So we are here in Magnus and it's an easy one hour drive from Fez and I stay here at this gate. It's supposed to be one of the prettiest in Morocco but now yeah, there are construction works going on. Usually here is the covered market but it is already closed and um, yeah I think we will look a little bit around and uh, I think Magnus will be a short stop on our way to the next city. Okay, a little bit is still going on. There are many vendors but not many people during this time of the day. I think it will be changed during the night. It was such a hot day, so we had to have a drink at this fast food chain and now we can go to the next city. Let's go to Rabat. So let's go. That was awesome to have you with us. Thanks very much and see you in the next one.